All right, <clears throat> so we're going to come back to um, back to game development. Just found out there's a new, new Star Trek I've seen, so I definitely need to put that on the list of things to do. All right, so we're going to add now um, some sort of score, some sort of health. Uh, not health, sorry. Just there's going to be gold coins everywhere, and he's going to be our player will just collect them and add get points. So, all right, let's begin. Layout one, we click on the gray part of the screen, sprite. Remember, you can fast forward by just pressing um, down the settings and making it a 1.25 times the speed. Just gonna make it a yellow, uh, yellow dot. Very original. There's my dot. We're gonna make a small dot, not like the big enemy one. And we're gonna rename it to coin. There we go. We're going to do another thing. Click on the grey part of the screen, type text, and we're going to put text box right here. Now let's try the game now. Where's the text gone? Oh, it's right there. But notice, oh, make sure the enemies don't catch me. Okay, anyways, so the text needs to continue staying with us. So we're going to press behavior and we're going to give it the behavior of anchor. So anchor just means it's always going to be there no matter what happens. So let's see. There we go. We can see the text is right there. It is moving with us. So it's anchored to the screen. Okay, I think if we go right here, we should be fine. There we go. So the see how it's moving with us the text is still moving so awesome perfect um so now we're going to call the text score it's always important to have some sort of score or some sort of motivation incentive to get you know the user to play the game and that's going to be score so we're going to right click add global variable and type in score here so our score, um, we've got a global variable, that's just a container to store something and what we're storing is the score. So it's just like a cookie jar. Alright, in a cookie jar you store cookies, but here we're going to store, store the score. Alright, so we're going to go player, on collision with another object. Oh. And that object um, will be coin. So you go click on coin, click done. And then we're going to destroy the coin. Destroy the coin. And we're also going to add one to score. Add one to score. If I went a little faster, then just rewind it. Um, <clears throat> now we're going to add event, system every x seconds just like we've done previously every x seconds every 0 0.5 that is um, and we're going to add action and so text set text to random oh sorry ah, not random to score make sure it's the one with the little plan and not the text there so there we go done now let's see what happens here so it's gone to zero. Oh, and I'm stuck. Okay, let's see if I can make this again. No. Whoa. Here we go, just added. So I got one to score, so this is working great. And now all you need to do is just scatter these coins all around the game. So you can put one here, you can put one here, you can put one here, you can put one here. Um, here and here and you don't have to just do it randomly like I did you can test the game out and see you know where would be you know challenging spots for the user to go you know make it hard to get those coins you could even make it really hard you could do you know what I've seen some of my students do like Erdich um, who has put coins in the game already and it's really hard to get those coins in fact it's almost impossible so here we go it's working beautifully now all right so yep just keep on experimenting when you make a game it's always important to experiment there 
you cannot play your game too many times, really. It's really important to test your game to make sure it's all working fine as much as possible. All right, so thank you guys for watching.